links sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and This Sunday will be oh, will be uh, open. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super creepy things that have been caught on camera that are starting to freak the internet out. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Our first clip of the day has been going viral this past couple of weeks as it purports to show a haunted church. The video, which was shared to TikTok by user Did You See It, shows a pastor in his church making a quick video update for his congregation. As he does, things begin to get a little strange. Take a look. Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Over and over, the podium behind the priest falls over. Fallen over on its own, and it's. Uh, it's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like... The... the pastor then shows us that there's no air conditioning or breeze that could have made the podium move. No air conditioning. It's these things. They're off. I don't know. So I'm just going to sit here and watch it for a little bit. Towards the end of the clip, a flag begins to move as well. Ooh, that thing's moving. That hasn't been moving. Nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Good grief. The fact that this footage was captured by a priest has led thousands of viewers to believe that this could be genuine paranormal activity. A lot of comments said that they'd like to think a man of the cloth wouldn't make a hoax video just for a bit of fun. There were a few commenters who thought they could see a piece of string pulling the podium over. However, it's hard to confirm as nothing seems to stand out. Uh, it's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like... The... Some viewers thought it was demonic energy antagonizing the priest in his own church. So what do you think? Are we witnessing some real paranormal activity here? Or is this priest deceiving us? Let me know where you land on this in the comments below. Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Some months ago, a family in an undisclosed part of Russia began experiencing some unusual activity around their home, in particular near their laundry area. They set up a camera to roll 24-7 to try and catch proof that something strange really was happening. The footage was shared to TikTok by user TikTok Paranormal. Take a look at what's been captured. First, a towel seems to move on its own. On a separate day, the same towel appears to be levitating in mid-air. <gasps> Another day shows a tennis ball moving around the room. The homeowner then tries an experiment by placing some flour on the floor. Take a look at what happens. Something seems to pass right through the flower. She tries the same thing with a mug. Things then seem to escalate. The whole door comes off its hinges. 
then more eerie activity is captured by the camera. Looking more closely, the pages in the book appear to fold by themselves. And here, yet more movement can be seen. So what's happening in this home in Russia? A lot of viewers were genuinely terrified for this poor woman's safety, with some saying she should leave the house immediately or get a priest to come bless the space. Unfortunately, there's very little information for us to run with with this series of clips. We don't know where exactly it was filmed or by who. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, this bizarre series of clips will have to remain a mystery. This next one was sent to us by a viewer named April C from the Philippines. April says she was on a Zoom call running a training session with some colleagues when they eventually got to chatting about paranormal experiences. AJ in the bottom left said that he believes his apartment is haunted. He says he's seen the ghostly forms of a woman and a young child walking through his home. He's also seen doors slam on their own, taps turn on, and weird noises can be heard at all hours of the night. Anyone that sleeps over in the apartment has a dream that a small child is sitting on their chest. They become hard of breath and wake up in a fit of panic to an empty room. AJ just laughed it off and they continued their training. Because they work for an international client, the footage you're about to see was captured at exactly 3am. That's when something odd was caught on AJ's webcam. Take a look. So guys, it's already 12pm. You may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and no wo ang sato puto ina chanakoy age what na itik nila so guys it's already 12 pm you may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and no wo ang sato puto ina spooked down AJ shows the group that he's alone but doesn't quite know what the rest of the group saw ako ina kita sa likod ni mo ang yana lang Dito, dito, sa pikas, sa pikas, sa pikas, sa pikas. Masa? Nakoy nakita. Oh, man. Dira, dira. Uy, sit, nitindog yun akong balahibo. Dira. If we watch it again, slowed down, you can see a pale form pass by in the background. April's a big fan of our show and didn't think anything paranormal would happen to her. To this day, she still can't explain the strange shape in AJ's feed. Given that he believes his apartment is haunted, it certainly does make you wonder what this thing could be. So guys, it's already 12pm. You may join Vince sa Google Meet na link sa calendar invite and... No, 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 no. Last year, we ran a story on a man named Mario Lara. He runs a party supply shop in Guadalajara in the western state of Jalisco, Mexico. Mario believes his store is haunted by an unknown presence. For some time now, he's been uploading downright chilling footage from inside his store. His store is reportedly so haunted, it's become somewhat of an attraction in the local area. All kinds of alleged paranormal events have taken place, like objects moving on their own, eerie figures have been caught on camera, and staff members have even been aggressively attacked by unseen forces. Last time, we showed one of his most famous pieces of evidence. Take a look.
Then he tried an experiment with some flour on the floor. Take a look at what happens. Well now, another startling piece of footage has been captured inside Mario's store. This was captured in the middle of the day while Mario was standing in the showroom. Take a look. Watching that again closely, you can see one of Mario's fingers twist back violently. He looks to be in great pain as he tries to straighten his finger. So what's going on here? The more evidence that piles up, the more people are starting to believe that Mario's store could genuinely be haunted by some kind of malicious spirit. This next clip comes from one of our viewers, Amye Price. They posted the video to our Facebook community page asking other members for their opinions. Price says she was recently sitting in her living room when suddenly a balloon floated strangely out of her daughter's room. Take a look at what she caught on camera. Sadly, in 2016, Price's other daughter passed away. She couldn't help but think that this could be a gesture from her lost daughter making contact from the beyond. Price also notes that there were no fans, AC or windows open at the time this was recorded, so it's hard to explain the balloon's oddly specific movement. Most viewers agree that the balloon seemed to float straight up to Price intentionally. While it's hard to know what's happening here for certain, if this gesture brings some comfort to the family in what must be a very difficult time, then that's all that really matters. Before we take a look at a creepy old property in Nevada that's reported to be heavily haunted, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Our last clip of the day comes from a paranormal investigation group known as Haunt Hunters. In this video, the team investigates the old Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada, a location many locals believe to be heavily haunted. The team starts by setting up their specialised equipment to try and get a read on the property. The Washoe Club dates back to the late 19th century and was known on the Pacific coast as a luxury destination for the elite. The club once housed one of the finest libraries in the United States, and its stately rooms were filled with Italian marble, bronze statues and carved black walnut sideboards. Its guest list comprised of members of high society and military officials like General Ulysses S. Grant, General Robert Sherman and railroad magnate Darius Ogden Mills among a list of 50 other millionaires of international repute. However, over the years things began to take a turn for the strange for this once go-to hotspot. As millionaires drank their fill, they mingled with prostitutes and shady characters who would come and go through two secret exits at the rear of the building. There are rumours that one of the rooms of the parlour was used to house dead bodies while gravediggers waited for the ground to thaw during cold winters. Today, the property is said to be haunted by three notable spirits. First is the Lady in Blue, a blonde-haired woman spotted at the top of the spiral staircase. She's said to linger for a second, then disappear without a trace. 
Some guests have spotted a scared little girl that faces the corner of one of the rooms crying. When they go to console her, they're confused to find nothing but a strange energy in the room and a cold pocket of air. Finally, there's the spirit of an old-timey prospector who's believed to have a penchant for whiskey. He's known to knock over patrons' drinks when they aren't looking. Bartenders even leave out a single shot of bourbon overnight to appease his spirit. Back on the Haunt Hunters investigation, the team have set up an old doll in a chair and are trying to communicate with any spirits that might be present. I see you trying to communicate. Just put all your strength into pushing one of these balls. They ask a series of questions. And eventually, this happens. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Thank you! No way, that was amazing! I... You are so incredibly strong. Thank you. Can you do it again? Can you push this ball? I'll push it right back. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That was incredible. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much. Go ahead and roll that again. Out of nowhere, a ball rolls across the floor, seemingly in response to one of their questions. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Thank you. No way, that was amazing! I... The team believes this could be the spirit of a young child attempting to communicate, but just whether it's the little girl that's famous for haunting this property remains unknown. The Washoe Club has become such a notorious destination that Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures even filmed an entire episode here. The club even runs regular guided ghost tours that cover all three floors of this historic property. Guests are encouraged to take photos and record audio, because you never know what the next tantalizing piece of evidence might be. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Thank you! Well, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you can't get enough of our content, then check out these two links right there. Leave us a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 